Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a circle passing through three points. So all three points are going to be on the circumference of the circle. And there's a bunch of prerequisite stuff that you need to know. And if you know it, you can solve this kind of quickly. So the first thing is, uh, you need to know how to write the equation of a circle with center HK and radius R. And so if you want to know how to do that, that's going to be the quantity X minus H squared. Um, plus the quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. So the things that change are h, k, and r. Um, and we're going to be plugging into that after we figure out what h, k, and r are. Um, next thing you need to know is how to find the distance between two points, so x1, y1, and x2, y2, which hopefully you remember is the square root of the quantity x2 minus x1 squared plus the quantity y2 minus y1 squared. Uh, you also need to know how to write the equation of a line through um, a given point with a given slope. I use point-slope form for this all the time because it's uh, the fastest, most direct way to write the equation of a line. So that's going to be y minus y0 equals m, and then the quantity x minus x0. And then we're going to manipulate that because we have to solve the system. Um, but I always start with that anyway. And you need to know how to find the midpoint of um, a segment connecting two points. So we got x1, y1, and x2, y2. And the midpoint is really just the average of the x's, the average of the y's. So you add the x's together, divide by 2. Add the y's together, divide by 2. That gives you your midpoint. Um, you also need to know the slope of a perpendicular line, or a line perpendicular to a given line, I guess I should say. Um, so those two slopes have the property that they multiply to 1, to negative 1, I should say, which means that to find the slope of the perpendicular, um, you just take the opposite reciprocal of the slope of the line you're given. So um, we're going to need that because of the geometry of what we're dealing with. So we have our circle and there are three points. And what we do is we consider the chords formed by connecting those three points. And then um, it's a property that the perpendicular bisectors of these chords all pass through the um, center of the circle. So I put the midpoint to the sides the bis perpendicular bisectors, um, and you can see that they're concurrent. Uh, they would be perfectly concurrent if I could draw perfectly, but I cannot. So that point right there is the center of the circle, and it's our objective to find that. So let's see if we can do that. Here's an example. So we have the point 3, 3, the point 6, 6, the point 10, negative 4, and those are all on the circle. And so what we need to do is we need to find the perpendicular bisectors of the segments connecting them. It's easiest if I name the point, so I'm going to go through and do that. So these are my points. I usually set up a table, and so the table has segment, um, it has the midpoint of the segment, so the segment, first one will be A, B, the midpoint, I'll find um, the slope of the segment, the perpendicular slope, so that's the slope of the line that's perpendicular to the segment, um, and then the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the segment, which is going to use the midpoint of the segment and the slope of the line perpendicular to the segment. So that's why we set up the table this way. So let's go ahead and find all of that for the segment AB. So the midpoint, I add the x's together, 3 plus 6 is 9, divide by 2, and then add the y's together, 3 plus 6 is 9, divide by 2, so I get a midpoint of 9 halves, comma 9 halves. The slope is change in y, so 6 minus 3, which is 3, over the change in x, which is 6 minus 3, which is 3, so 3 over 3, which is 1. The perpendicular uh, slope is uh, the opposite reciprocal, so flip 1 over and you still get 1, and then change the sign, you get negative 1. And then I'm going to write the equation in point slope form. So it's y minus 9 halves equals negative 1, x minus 9 halves. And um, I really only need two of the perpendicular bisectors, so I'm just going to go with AC here. And um, let's figure this out. So the midpoint is going to be uh, 10 plus 3 divided by 2 is 13 halves, and then negative 4 plus 3 divided by 2 is negative 1 half. So 13 halves, negative 1 half. Uh, the slope is going to be change in y, so negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7, over change in x, 10 minus 3 is 7, so negative 7 over 7 is negative 1. The opposite reciprocal of that, so you flip it over and you change the sign, gives you positive 1. Um, I'm going to write the equation of the perpendicular bisector, so I'm using the midpoint that I found, and I'm using the slope of the perpendicular. So now I have two lines, and uh, I just need to find the intersection. So what I'm going to do is kind of... Uh, Rearrange the line. So I'm going to start with uh, AB, the, well, the segment, the line perpendicular to AB, I guess is what I'm really using. I'm going to multiply by 2. I'm going to distribute that negative 2 on the right hand side. 
uh, move all the variables to one side and all the constants to the other side. So I added 2x and I added 9 to both sides. Um, divide by 2 because why not? So that's one equation. I'm going to do the same thing to the second equation. Um, in this case, uh, you can just drop the parentheses because 1 times anything, like you don't really need the parentheses. I'm going to multiply 3 by 2. And then move... Um, I'm going to move 2y to the other side, so I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides and add 13 to both sides. It gives me 2x minus 2y equals 14, and then I'll divide by 2 again because I can. So now I have a system of equations. So I have x plus y equals 9, and I have x minus y equals 7. I'm going to add down because that'll cancel out the y's, so 2x equals 16, which means x is 8. I know that if x is 8 and x plus y is 9, I can sub in 8 plus y is 9, so y is 1 which means that the center of the circle that I'm looking for is the point 8 comma 1. So now all I need to do is figure out the radius. So now I'm working on this problem. I know three points on the circle and I know the center. So what I'm going to do is the distance from any of those three points to the center is the radius of the circle. So I'll just take the first one and do uh, the quantity, uh, the square root of the quantity 8 minus 3 squared plus the quantity 1 minus 3 squared and then work on this. So that's going to be 5 squared plus a quantity negative 2 squared. Those parentheses are important um, because I want to square negative 2, not do the opposite of 2 squared. And this is the square root of 25 plus 4, which is the square root of 29. And now that I know the radius, I can write the equation of the circle. So the equation of the circle that I'm looking for after all of that is the quantity x minus 8 squared plus the quantity y minus 1 squared equals the quantity radical 29 squared. And that simplifies to x minus 8 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 29. That's the equation of the circle. So I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.